Hello, and how are you today? From our scripture passages at Mass, we see two marvelous scenes of the Lord coming among His people with great joy and celebration. But at the same time, we need to see those scenes with a bit of caution as well. From the first book of Kings, we see how Solomon completes the building of the temple, grand and glorious. And he brings the Ark of the Covenant into the temple to its permanent location. And the people offer sacrifice. The people are proud, filled with jubilation. And yet something we need to remember, that prior to this, the Ark had been under a, a tent. And that tent was mobile, so it could be with the people wherever they were. But now, now the ark is placed in a building, stationary, permanent. And it's so easy to forget that the Lord actually can be outside of the confines of that building. Buildings are marvelous places for us to congregate, to gather together, to celebrate our faith in community. But we also need to remember that the Lord is with us always, wherever we are, in whatever situation of life we are in. And if we are aware of the Lord's presence, then we are more likely then to choose the Lord and to walk in the path that he has marked out for us. In the gospel passage, we see from Mark how Jesus travels from town to town to place to place And as he goes anywhere, the people, the sick, the suffering, those with various illnesses and diseases come out to him with the hope that if they can just touch the tassel of his cloak, they'll be healed. Marvelous. And yet at the same time, Jesus himself also shies away from the notion that he might just be confined to the idea of being a miracle worker someone who does great and marvelous deeds, great though they might be, it doesn't define him because we can't define the Lord. The Lord is greater than his actions because it's not what the Lord does, it's who the Lord is. The Lord is love, filled with mercy, filled with compassion. The Lord cares about us more than we could ever imagine. And so, We need to appreciate and open up our vision to the Lord in broader perspectives to acknowledge that, yes, God does care for us always and everywhere. He's that big beyond our wildest dreams. God is for us every day, every moment of every day, in every place, in every situation. God is for us. We don't want to limit God because we can't. We don't want to have the wrong impression of God because the greatest impression of all is that he will always be there caring for us and loving us. That is who God is. We welcome him into our hearts, but even better still, the Lord welcomes us into his. God bless. Have a good day.